First, we are working breaking news. Providence police say there was no racial profiling in an incident between two officers and a city firefighter just over two weeks ago. That firefighter Terrell Pachi shared his accusations live with me on air during the Black Lives Matter protest on June 5th. Late this afternoon, Providence police released some body camera footage from that encounter. One officer involved will be disciplined for not having his body camera on. And tonight, we have live team coverage. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian is standing by with reaction. First, we go live to Target 12 investigator Steph Machado with the breaking details. Steph? Public Safety Commissioner Stephen Perry said Officer Matthew Sandorsi will be disciplined for not turning on his body camera during the encounter with firefighter Terrell Pachi. But Perry said the officer did not racially profile Pachi, though he may have been, quote, a bit insensitive. I was dressed in full uniform and I had my radio on and in hand. It was during the Black Lives Matter march in Providence on June 5th that Providence firefighter Terrell Pachi told an emotional story of having guns drawn on him by two Providence officers, one white and one black, while sitting in a friend's car while on duty outside the Messer Street fire station days earlier. So I was screaming, where's the gun? Is there a gun? Where's there a gun? And I was pledging, I'm a firefighter. I'm one of you. Don't shoot. After an internal investigation, Public Safety Commissioner Stephen Perry on Tuesday described the findings in a Zoom press conference. He says the officers were responding to a report of an armed robbery. Money because you owe me money. That's you, you the victims describing a red sedan. Perry says the first officer who spotted firefighter Pachi and his friend in the red car, Matthew Sandorsi, did not activate his body camera as required when he first approached. The second officer, Nathaniel Kalichi, activated his as he pulled up to the scene. You can see Sen Dorsey already pointing his gun at the red sedan. Open the door. Off. Stay there. Legitimately. I'm out of the car right now. Stay right there. I didn't tell you to move. Stay right there. I'm a problem. Stay right there. Firefighter. Perry says Officer Kalichi then turned his camera off and left to search for the actual armed robbery suspects. The rest of Officer Sandorsi's interaction then left unrecorded. But the investigation found he did speak to Pachi about the city curfew for which he was exempt as a firefighter, and then he searched the car. He was lawful in asking. Anybody, any police officer can ask for a search. But I believe uh, both training and better judgment would have resulted differently. Perry said while Sandorsi's behavior may have been insensitive, he does not believe there was any racial profiling. They, they were drawn to the car because of the description of that car. So the answer is no, there wasn't racial profiling uh, because they didn't know who was in the car. And Commissioner Perry says police have not yet determined what the discipline will be for the officer who did not turn on his body camera, but he said it would likely include sensitivity training. Now, my colleague Kim Glunian just spoke to Firefighter Pachi and the head of the Providence Firefighters Union for their reaction to the results of this investigation. And we go now live to Kim. Well, Steph, that's right. I spoke with Pachi just a few minutes after that Zoom press briefing concluded. He tells me he stands by what he said and how he said it. I'm one of you. Don't shoot. Terrell Pachi's emotional speech at the Black Lives Matter rally earlier this month resonated far and wide. After watching the Public Safety Commissioner's briefing on his story Tuesday, Pachi says he's thankful that Stephen Perry said what happened to him was traumatic. It shouldn't have happened whether I was a firefighter, whether I was black. Whether I was white, whether I was Hispanic, it shouldn't have happened. Pachi and Fire Union President Derek Silva say part of their issue with the incident on June 3rd was that the car Pachi was in was still searched, even after both he and his female friend were cleared as suspects. Do, do you believe if the color of your skin was different, if you were white in that same moment, things would have played out differently? Uh, I can't say that for a fact whether or not it changed because of my skin color, but I know because. Because of my skin color, I didn't feel as comfortable in the situation. Do you believe that that body camera footage proves that he was racially profiled? I don't think we were claiming, like, no, we weren't claiming that he was racially profiled. The head of the Providence Police Union, Michael Imondi, says he was disheartened that most of the blame appeared to be put on the officers, but he says the facts clear his men of any racial motivation. There is no way that racial profiling or bias was used in this car stop whatsoever. 
And Imondi also tells me he believes there were some other errors in Perry's recounting of that incident, including the fact that the officer who did not turn on his body camera, that he failed to notify his superiors. Imondi says that officer did, in fact, notify his bosses. Live in Providence, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.